Hey everyone, what's up and welcome to another video. One of the most common questions in regards to World of Warcraft Arena is which compositions are good. The comps that we see in tournament play are not always a clear example of what performs well on the ladder. In today's video, we've hit up some of our rank 1 consultants and asked them to rank popular 3v3 compositions based on performance and viability. It's also worth noting that this tier list is based on gladiator and above ratings. So, although double rep paladin running in and instantly killing you may seem overpowered, the higher rating you get, the less viable it becomes. But before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, be sure to like and subscribe if you want to show your support. Currently, 80% of you are not subscribed, which means that most of you are missing out on the awesome rank 1 fueled info that we drop regularly that will be sure to boost your rating in no time. So, be sure to show some love and hit that subscribe button. And if you're interested in more content like this, along with gaining early access to all of our YouTube videos, exclusive matchup guides, access to our forums, and the opportunity to get your gameplay reviewed, be sure to head over to skillcap.com slash wow and sign up today. How we're going to be ranking these compositions is in five different tiers. S plus to C. These compositions in our S plus are going to be the best of the best. While the compositions dropping into our C tier will still be by all means viable, but just a lot weaker. Our first and only addition to our C tier is going to be the old favorite Turbo Cleave, which is Enhancement Arms Warrior, then either a Mistweaver or Holy Paladin. This comp has obviously seen better days, but with a recent appearance in the AWC as a counter to Discipline Priest, it's starting to make an appearance on the ladder yet again. This is great for Enhancement Shamans, giving them a viable composition that they can play to high levels. As mentioned though, despite this composition falling into our C tier, it's still more than viable at Gladiator Plus ratings. Moving up into our B tier, these compositions gain a little more strength. Starting off, we have Elemental Boomkin Mistweaver or Resto Shaman. After its recent showing in the EU AWC, it's gained a little more traction and is for sure a Boomkin's strongest composition right now, despite being a shadow of its former self. Windwalker Boomkin Holy Paladin is also making an appearance flying into our B tier. Both Windwalkers and Balanced Druids have better options for partners, but this comp has found recent success on the NA ladder as of late. Furthermore, charging into our B tier, we have some Warrior Cleaves, including TSG, which is Arms DK Mistweaver, and Warrior Demon Hunter, which can be played with a variety of healers. Two very strong cleaves, well deserving of our B tier. On the topic of cleaves, still we have our first and only Ret composition, which is Ret Warrior Resto Shaman. This comp has seen some play as a counter to melee cleaves in recent times and can do very well given the right cues. However, it does tend to struggle when up against double casters or teams with high mobility. And this one may come as a surprise if you've recently watched the AWC tournaments. Warrior, Fire Mage, Mistweaver is going into our B tier. While this comp has had very good success in tournament play, that doesn't directly translate to results on ladder. And with both mages and warriors having much better compositions, Warrior Mage is left in our B tier for now. With that addition, that's going to be the completion of our B tier, leaving our current tier list looking like this. Our next tier is again moving up the scale, with these compositions all being insanely strong right now, just cutting it a little short in comparison to our S tier comps. The first addition to our A tier is going to be Windwalker Death Knight Mistweaver, a very popular cleave which has been good for some time now best played with a Frost DK, and known for its very strong spite setups. Another cleave heading into our A tier is going to be DHDK. A former S tier composition again has dropped down heavily in our rankings due to the decline of Resto Druids. While this comp is still playable with a Mistweaver, this cleave is a shadow of its former self. There is one spec right now which has an abundance of compositions all working at a very high level, and of course I'm talking about Destro Lock. So bolting into our A tier, we're going to have Windwalker Destro, Assassination Destro, Warrior Destro, Shadow Priest Destro, Elemental Destro, and everybody's favorite, Destro Destro. While all are very, very good compositions by default, largely due to the Destruction Warlock, these compositions still are not top tier and fall just short of our S tier. There is, however, one caster cleave doing very well that doesn't involve a Destruction Warlock, and that's Elemental Fire Mage, which can be played with either a Mistweaver or a Holy Paladin. Having explosive damage during lassos and great crowd control thanks to the mage, this caster cleave has a lot of potential and does very good into most melee cleaves. Our last addition to our A tier is going to be some Shadow Priest compositions. 
Shadow Priest Hunter, known as Scattered Play, is doing extremely well right now, and what Shadow Priests lack in upfront damage, they make up for in instant CC. Pairing this with the single target burst damage, Mortal Strike, and more instant crowd control that a Hunter brings makes for some very explosive CC chains and earning this composition its spot in our A tier. The same concept of Shadow Priest Melee also holds true for other compositions, namely Shadow Priest Barrel and Shadow Priest Rogue. All three of these compositions play around the high instant CC and survivability a shadow brings paired up with a high damage melee. This leaves our Destro filled A tier looking like this. And we're finally to our penultimate tier, our S tier. These compositions are without a doubt insane right now, but don't quite make it into our strongest tier. First up, we've got the best melee cleave right now, which of course is Windwalker Demon Hunter. Primarily played with a Shaman, but has seen some success with Mistweaver as well. This composition brings insane mobility on both the Windwalker and DH, while simultaneously being incredibly hard to kill, with both classes also having the potential to pump out very high sustained damage, while even having the option to mana burn just an all-around annoying comp to face, making it extremely worthy of its S-tier spot. The next comp pouncing into our S-tier is going to be the popular as ever Feral Survival Hunter Discipline Priest known as Jungle. Having incredibly strong CC, great longevity, and three sources of damage as this composition allows the Priest to be able to play very aggressively, assisting with damage or Dark Archangel during very dangerous instant crowd control fueled setups. And our third and final composition making it into our S tier is going to be our Impala. Played exclusively with an Assassination Rogue and Fire Mage, this composition boasts insane strength with the Paladin running Ineffable Truth and assisting the Mage to secure Crowd Control, Rotating Dragon's Breath, and Hammer of Justice to secure easy Polymorphs. Also, the added burst damage a Paladin brings helps setups pack that extra punch and makes this composition extremely durable thanks to the abundance of defensive cooldowns. All right, before we get to the moment you've all been waiting for, the S Plus tier, let's quickly take a look at how our tier list looks up to this point. Okay, moving on to the S plus tier, these compositions are without a doubt the strongest on the ladder right now, bringing both unrivaled damage coupled with insane CC. And our first composition is RMP. Previously, the major weakness of this comp was how vulnerable Disc was to being focused, but thanks to the corruption vendor and high amounts of versatility that a Disc can obtain, this means that the majority of this weakness has been glossed over. RMP, when compared to the Paladin version, brings a ton more damage. Having Dark Archangel and the consistent pressure that a Priest brings, one of the highest rated and best performing compositions on both the North American and EU ladder right now. And our last composition, not only for our S plus tier list, but the list overall, is going to be the pairing of the two strongest casters and possibly classes right now, both having unrivaled damage when left free and also separate spammable CCs on different diminishing returns. This composition has proven time and time again to be without a doubt the strongest caster cleave, with its strongest variation being Fire Mage Destro Mistweaver, it can also be played with Holy Paladin. It's also possible for the mage to respec Frost for certain matchups, meaning that it's incredibly flexible. This composition lacks any real hard counters, having a chance to beat almost anything put in front of it with ease, and even having multiple ways to win. You can set up kills with stuns, look to crowd control healers, or just maximize damage and take advantage of how much a threat both Destruction Warlock and Fire Mage are when left free to cast. Alright, that's going to be it for our Gladiator 3v3 tier list. Bear in mind this list was put together with a group of our rank 1 consultants and is aimed for Gladiator Plus ratings. We'll be shortly releasing a second tier list based on lower rating. We here at Skillcapped put a ton of work into keeping you updated on how to play and play around every class in WoW Arena. The best way for you to show your support and love for the channel, as well as remaining up to date on any shifts in the meta as they happen, is to like, subscribe, and share the video. Remember, the content that you find here on YouTube is just a taste of the hyper-improvement platform that you'll find on our website. If you're serious about improving your arena rating, be sure to check it out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.